In this part, I'm going to show you how Spring Security is going to secure our web application by using its various configuration. The first thing that I'm going to show you is this hash password for securing our password that we're going to use and we're going to display menu based on the role of the user. All this we can achieve using Spring Security. So I have my login form here now. We have some basic validation. Now, if I log in with admin and with some wrong password we can get this message username and password is invalid so now I'm going to add a login using the proper credential and if I log in you can see we have a managed product menu available for admin and here is the logout now if I go to view products our card button has been replaced with edit and if I view any of the products so you can see we have this edit button available here so if I click on this edit it will help me to edit that particular product so now I'm going to log out so you have successfully log out that is the message I get, which I'm getting now I'm going to log in as a normal user so you can see we don't have that menu of our managed product but yes we do have this cart menu here to view the cart so right now this user is not having any card items but here is the logout button that we have now if I go to view products you can see we have this card button available here instead of edit now suppose if the user get to know about our URL and if he tries to add that URL on the navigation bar but since this user does not have the role of an admin it will give you you are not authorized to view this page so we are going to cover up authorization as well along with authentication I'll go to home and simply log out so this is coming up in this particular part so stay tuned don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching